हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ अशोक बगड़ा फ्रॉम डॉक्टर सुभाष टेक्निकल कैंपस एंड इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिराइव एन इक्वेशन ऑफ नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी फॉर अ सिंपल पेंडुलम ओके लेट अस स्टार्ट सो दिस इज द आवर वी आर गोइंग टू डिटरमाइन एन इक्वेशन ऑफ नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी फॉर अ सिंपल पेंडुलम सो हियर अ सिंपल पेंडुलम इज गिवन सो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स सम एम मास is attached at a string the string is pivoted at the fixed point now if we displace the string if if mass in this way then our pendulum is oscillating this way so here let us consider a simple pendulum having mass m and length l is shown in figure now here the string we consider the string having no mass we consider massless string and m the bob having m as mass we can calculate the natural frequency by using following two method first one is a energy method and second one is a equilibrium method okay so in this lecture we derive an equation by using these two method energy method and also by equilibrium method now my dear friends we know that mass moment of inertia of simple pendulum io so ma this is the center of rotation center of oscillation of simple pendulum o so we can say that mass moment of inertia about x x so i o is equal to ml square this is a simple equation of mass moment of inertia of simple pendulum now as shown in figure this is the neutral axis if we displace if we displace this pendulum by excitation force external excitation force then it will oscillate in this way but in this case we consider here there is a no pivot friction and there is no air resistance so we neglect two things one is a pivot friction and second one is a air resistance so my dear friends this is initial condition and this is extreme right position of pendulum so when our bobs reach at extreme right position then there is a increment in height is small h so from figure we can say that a small h we use here in this uh, method we use energy method so small h is l this is total height is l minus this one is l cos theta because this angle is theta so theta is very small okay so this is l minus l cos theta so we obtain l in bracket 1 minus cos theta so we know that the equation of kinetic energy so kinetic simple kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv square so m is mass and v is velocity but here we consider a rotational kinetic energy because our pendulum is oscillating in this way so rotational kinetic energy of mass is equal to 1 half mass moment of inertia io into theta dot square so theta dot is a angular velocity so this is a simple equation of kinetic energy 1 half io into theta dot square similarly potential energy so we know that we know simple equation of potential energy it is a mgh and in our case h is a this is h in our case h is equal to l in bracket l 1 minus cos theta so mg in bracket l minus l cos theta so we obtain mg l in bracket 1 minus cos theta now according to the uh, conservation law of conservation of energy total energy remain constant so total energy is equal to constant so we can say the total energy here is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy so if we take a differentiation of this e total energy then we obtain zero here so d by dt in bracket kinetic energy plus potential energy is equal to zero so now we put the equation so d by dt here kinetic energy equal to 1 half i o into theta dot square plus potential energy is equal to mg l into bracket 1 minus cos theta bracket complete and whole bracket complete is equal to zero so if we differentiate the 1 by 2 is constant so 1 by 2 i o is also constant theta dot square the differentiation of theta dot square is equal to 2 theta dot into theta double dot plus mgl is constant 
the differentiation of 1 is 0 plus equation uh, differentiation of minus cos theta so cos theta is equal to minus sin theta so minus minus plus theta sir. minus minus plus so sin theta into differentiation of theta is theta dot so here th we consider we take a common theta dot is common in these two equation again if we simplify this equation then we obtain i o theta double dot plus m g l sin theta is equal to 0 now here theta is very small so we can replace sin theta is equal to theta so i o theta double dot plus m g l into theta so we again rearrange this equation theta double dot is equal to m g l upon i o into theta dot into theta is equal to 0 this is equation number 2 now comparing equation 1 with theta double dot plus omega n square into theta so this is the equation of simple harmonic motion so we obtain omega n square is equal to m g l upon i o now we put the value of i o it is a mass moment of inertia it is m l square so here m m l l cancel so we finally obtain omega square is equal to g by l so omega is equal to under root g by l so frequency f n is equal to so this is the equation of uh, frequency omega upon 2 pi so we obtain uh, 1 upon 2 pi under root g by l in a hertz and if we if we want to determine time period then time period is equal to 2 pi upon omega so 2 pi upon omega so 2 pi under root g by l so this is the equation of uh, time period and natural frequency of simple pendulum by energy method now we see another method it is the equilibrium method now dr lambert principle according to the dr lambert principle we know that the total forces or total forces acting on the system the submission of total forces acting on the system should be zero then our system may be in equilibrium so we we know that in our case there are two types of forces acting on a pendulum so inertia torque and resisting torque so this is a resist this is a resisting torque and this is a torque because of mg so by using this equation submission of inertia torque plus external torque is equal to zero now we know that inertia torque is nothing but i into theta double dot inertia torque is i o into theta double dot and external torque here we can say that mg this component it is mg sine theta this component is mg sin theta so mg sin theta into l this is a torque so mg sin theta into l this is a torque this is active torque and this is a resisting torque so again i o into theta double dot plus mg theta into l because we replace sin theta is a theta because theta is very small so again we obtain this equation theta double dot plus mg l upon i o into theta is, is equal to zero this is equation now again we compare this equation with this simple harmonic equation theta double dots plus omega n square into theta is equal to zero so we obtain omega n square is equal to mg l upon i o so mg l uh, finally we obtain omega square is equal to g by l so we obtain omega n is equal to under root g by l so f n is equal to omega upon 2 pi so f n is equal to we obtain 1 upon 2 pi under root g by l in hertz and similarly if we want to calculate time period then time period is equal to 2 pi upon omega so we obtain 2 pi under root l by g into second thank you